Well, hello there, beautiful people. <laughs> this is Lisa at Lisa Love Studio. And as I go into the last quarter of my planner, I am so excited because I absolutely love planning for Halloween. I love decorating. That's probably my favorite theme of the whole year would be Halloween. And then my second favorite was, well, let me see. I don't know. If, I don't know if my second favorite is November or fall um, or December, but October is definitely the favorite. <laughs> so as I approach October, I'm so excited because my entire planner um, is in one book, um, as you can see here. So that has been like really, really, really exciting for me. Um, so as I um, end September, so we're in the um, the last week of September, we're right here, and I decorated September with Planners Anonymous um, um, PAU, which stands for Planners Anonymous University theme, and so I used that throughout um, September um, just to make it easy on myself because I've been doing a lot of other like family stuff and my son's new business stuff and kind of things like that. So I've been, I haven't had as much time on my hands as I usually did, but I do think, see things, um, getting back to normal and me back into my craft room and creating and doing all that stuff that I love so much. I've loved the past couple of months as well. It's been great for my family and, and all of that, but I also miss you guys. So anyway, um, so here we are. Um, it's Monday evening right now. And um, as I get ready for October, right, which starts next week, I'm thinking, okay, now normally October, November, and December, I kind of like, I kind of go all out and create separate books for those three months individually. Like I have an October planner, I have a November planner, and then I have a December um, planner. It's usually what I do. Um, but now that I kind of see everything in one place, part of me wants to keep it like this um, and and just decorate for Halloween using my spread that I created here. So I'm kind of torn, um, but I do have some ideas for October. So I think what I'm going to do We'll go ahead and make a decision right now is I'll go ahead and use my inserts the way I've been using for the entire year um, and keep it in this book. And then if I feel like it, it doesn't feel right as I'm going through the month, then I'll um, separate it and do whatever I have to do. Um, on numerous occasions, I've recreated a month. Like I've, I've started in it and then I've gone like a week and a half and thought I can't do it. And then I scrap the whole thing and then go back and redo the spreads in a format that I like. <laughs> so I won't hesitate when it comes to that. But I want to give it a shot in this because um, maybe I do want to keep the, um, the last three months um, in here so that I have the entire 2023 in one nice chunky planner. Um, so... If you have been following my channel, you will probably know that I have a separate memory keeping planner um, this year for 2023. So that's why this is not very bulky. It's just stamping stickers and washi. There's no additional um, elements here the way I normally would plan prior to 2023. By the way, um, July was an extremely busy month for my family. Uh, my son started his own business and I've just been, I was just so busy helping with that. And I wasn't in my craft room and so this is what resulted. <laughs> but I have so many incredible memories. Um, I do want to go back and look at all the photos in my camera roll and see if I can journal just a little bit because it's interesting because this is probably um, like this July month and, and uh, well, June, July, August, um, and even now in September have been the highlight of my life, um, as a, um, a single mother before I got married and all of that stuff when we combined our families. Um, it's been such an accomplishment, um, and a sense of pride for me, um, as a mom, of a son who's starting his own business and is an adult and, you know, just kind of doing his thing and making his dreams come true. It's probably the most important time for me to document and journal, yet I've been so in the moment that I haven't had a chance. Isn't that awesome? 
So, but I have it all in my heart. Um, and I wrote a little update here. You probably can't see it that well, but it just says um, July has been a wonderful month. And it goes on and on about it. But it's because my planner was just like so empty. <laughs> I just had to write a little bit of something, right? So um, anyways, so now as I go into um, getting ready for October, let's go back to that. I wanted to go through my stash. I have um, an Iris 12 by 12 bin that I keep seasonal items in for planning. Um, that way, when the month approaches again every year, I go through that stash and I try to use things that I already have. Surprise, surprise. Um, and so I thought I would go through that. I, I do have an idea of what I want to do here on my spreads. So um, normally I would have a, a separate planner for October, separate planner for November, separate planner for December, but I'm not going to do that this year. I'm going to try and stick to this. Okay. Did I already say that? I probably did. Anyway, so I have an idea of what I want to do, but I also want to look at my goodies. So let me just put this aside for a second and maybe you guys can, um, help me out. So Studio Calico is probably, um, Studio Calico and Planners Anonymous are like my favorites for Halloween stuff. Um, Planners Anonymous doesn't always do Halloween um, kits, but Studio Calico does. And I just, I love them. And this year was no different. Studio Calico, amazing release this year. But I thought, you know what? I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to see what I have in here and then decide if I need to add anything else. So this is um, my favorite Coco Daisies kit, which is Doodles and Dashes. And these are, um, I think, two years of that because I think they came out with two kits. Um, a, original Doodles and Dashes and then a Doodle and Dashes too. So that's what I use in November. So I'm just gonna put this aside because I'm thinking about October right now. So um, this bin is like um, fall, not necessarily just Halloween. So, and then I have a separate Christmas one, and this just gets put away, like I said, until it's time um, to decorate. So, these are some notepads that I made last year. Um, so cute, and I used Planners Anonymous, um, their Halloween kit from last year. Um, the digitals were absolutely the best I've ever seen. They were incredible. It's still available um, because they're digital. Um, so you can still purchase them. I'll be sure to link them below because they are truly incredible and timeless. Like, even though I used this theme last year, I have no problem um, whipping it out and using it again because this is so juicy. Um, this is the sticker book. As you can see, I bought several of them because I was obsessed with this book. It's called For the Booze. So this is a physical sticker book that you can buy and then the rest of the For the Booze was digital. So I used both. Um, I mean, this is just, I, I, I can't wait to use this in October again because it's so, so good. So I have these. I have, um, as you can see, some notepads um, that I made. I love candy corn, so I have a candy corn notepad. <laughs> Whole bunch of notepads that don't necessarily work in the style of planning. Not the style, but the, uh, the format I'm using half letter now. This was, um, I had formatted these for B6 but I can still use them. Anyway, okay, here's some more fall things. I guess I didn't have like enough stuff for fall to separate fall and Halloween. Um, but let's see, okay, so let's put this fall stuff up here. Here's another um, already dipped into sticker book. So I'll probably start with this one and then go into the other ones. Here, oh, this is exciting, okay. Um, look at how cute. I believe this, oh, I'm surprised it's not branding, branded, although thing is spooky. Something tells me, is this the Honey Bee Shop? I don't know, but this is gorgeous. Um, use that. These are just some, um, Doodlebug, um, stickers that I could use. Here's, um, a little notepad. This is by, I know but I'm drawing a blank. Um, can't remember, but I will. These are some return labels for some Halloween cards I sent out, so we don't need to use those. Here's some journaling cards um, that I just kind of collected. Cute. I'll be able to use those. Ooh, this is really cute. 
this is really cute. So I think I'm going to have to use that. Here are some Halloween um, die cuts from Simple Stories that it doesn't look like I used. Oh, here's, I forgot about these. Okay, so more and more and more. Um, this is from Hubman and Chug Girl, I believe. And this I can use in my fall. Here is more Doodles and Dashes from Coco Daisy. Fall. Fall. Ah, Woodland Wonders from Planners Anonymous. Excellent. I'll use this in November. I made this last year um, with some more Hubman and Chug Girl stickers. I'll use that for November. This is from Planners Anonymous, Woodland Wonders. This is from All for Fall. Okay, so this is all fall stuff. Sorry. Going through fall stuff and telling you what everything is for my fall stuff and I should be focusing on Halloween. Okay, look at this charm. I'm going to have to link all this below because I'm going to have to go back in time and figure out where I bought all this stuff. But this, I'm pretty sure I got it um, on Etsy. And it's a fabulous um, planner charm. So good. I love candy corn, so... I love anything with candy corn, so we'll use that in Halloween. This is an example of um, Studio Calico. I have all of these left over, so when I thought about purchasing um, this year's kit, I thought, no, I, I, I have a lot of really good Halloween stuff, and I just didn't think it was absolutely necessary. Okay, so there's that. I have some Moon and Stars paper clips. Some pumpkin paper clips for fall, so I'll put these over here. And then some bats, some pink ghosts. I have a little spider. <laughs> I have this acrylic. Um, I think this is from the Honeybee Shop. I'm almost positive. Got those. I've got some more um, simple stories, just scrapbook paper. Okay, so this will put in fall. Oh, so okay, so this is from Papery Love. How could I forget? So that's what um, this postcard is from Papery Love. I have some, um, and this post-it pad, this is Papery Love. I highly recommend them. As a matter of fact, um, I haven't checked recently, so I'd like to know what they're up to. I have to look at their website, which could be could be dangerous. Um, look at this Frankenstein. Okay, yeah, I have to look at their website. Okay, so super cute things from them. Um, oh, Hubman and Chub Girl. I don't even remember this. I must have bought this after the Halloween season last year. So here are some cute um, faux wax seals. Ooh, more... Um, kind of die cuts ephemera oh these are really cute because they're pink they're pink halloween which i freaking love so i don't know what's going to happen though because with my planner i kind of feel like the way i have my planner now it doesn't really accommodate for all this bulk um so i may have to change my mind um another post-it pad Hmm, now that I see all this stuff, a beautiful Halloween-themed pen from Villa Beautiful that I had collected um, a while ago. That is juicy. Okay, that's November. This is November. Um, this is a Halloween um, sticker book that's empty. Interesting. Okay, same thing. Empty, I believe. Yep, these are both from the Honeybee Shop. Had to buy them. Okay, and then I have some Papery Love Vellum back here. See, that's beautiful. I'd love to use that. And then um, some more paper clips. And then here, oh, okay. So this is just a whole bunch of stickers. They're from different companies um, that I collected. And then I put my Papery Love um, boxes. This comes in a washi roll, um, but in the washi roll, because they're semi-transparent, it's kind of hard to see them. So um, I put them in a sticker book like this so I can pick and choose which box I want to use in my planner. Look at how incredible these are. Absolutely incredible. Okay, so that's why I have these in here. 
Okay, perfect. So I'll see what they're doing this year and see if I need to add to this, but maybe I don't. Maybe I just need to just use what I have. So I have this. This I created last year using um, uh, using Planners Anonymous for the booze um, kit. I printed this and then I placed um, holographic overlay on it and then put their washi here, some scalloped borders from the Planner Society. And then I believe this is also from um, the Honeybee Shop. And here's some blackout stickers from the Honeybee Shop. Old supplies that I've hoarded. Um, shine sticker. Um, half used. Honeybee. Just stuff. Um, oh, more die cuts that I can use. Some Studio Calico stuff. Just uh, here's also Papery Love. A whole bunch of stuff that I can use. Um, if... I want to bulk up my planner, so that's kind of my concern right now. Let's look at these from Hubman and Shop Girl. Again, this is all old supplies. These are all supplies that I collected. Um, I didn't buy anything new this year yet. Better take care of that vellum. This is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. I love these sticker books, so I made sure to buy a bajillion of them. Okay, so let's look at this from Huffman and Shelf Girl, because I'm curious what I purchased. Let me put this dusty box aside. And let's see what we have going on here. Oh, <laughs> adorable. Okay, happy with that. Oh, I'm a sucker for the littles dressed as a mummy. And I've done Halloween, car Halloween cards, um with this image um, from Mama Elephant. I stamped it and colored it in and sent them out. They were so cute. Oh, these are fantastic. Okay. A little washi sampler stickers. Some decorative boxes. Ah, oh, so good. Some more decorations. These stickers are so beautiful um, from Hubman and Chug Girl. I abs oh, these are good. These are really, really good. Okay. So this makes sense why I bought it and hoarded it. Okay, so I'd love to use that. Now, I don't have to get chunky with the planner. I just have to keep telling myself that because if I, if I do, because in uh, like last year, I made it really chunky and I just added tags and ribbon and this and that and dimension and I, I, and I loved it. Um, however, I also really, really love stamping in my planner this year um and I have so many very 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 good um stamp and die sets in my collection in uh, for card making that I can use in my planner and um you know that will lay flat um stamps and dies and I have these stickers and I have the planners anonymous book that I love and I don't necessarily need to get chunky so that's what I need to decide. Um, and I think I think that's what I'm gearing towards. But when I look through this box, I get excited about making the planner chunky. So back to the planner. We have a blank slate, right? What I'm thinking of doing is, and I, I did it um, right when my son told me he was going to start his business. Here it is right here. Okay, so... This was just a, uh, a blank um, dot grid paper that I printed myself. Um, I cut it down like a kind of half sheet type thing to kind of stick because I needed to um, add so, so much about what was happening this particular week in May. Um, and so you see how this border is purple and then this one's blue. So I stamped that. Okay, so I, and I kind of, I really liked the way it came out. I just think it came out really nice to have stamping in the binding. And so what I'm thinking is for October is to do that, is to, um, let's see, let's get there real quick. Oh, I got to tell you about this. I went to a long font event, but anyway. Okay, so when we get to October, 
I'm thinking October just have all these inside binding, this inside area um, stamped with either pink, black, purple, orange, you know, whatever my color theme is going to be, which is probably going to be all Halloween colors because they just all go together so well. So I was kind of thinking of doing that. Um, in every every single page of October will have a colored um, striped border that's stamped. So again, that's not going to create any bulk at all. And then I'm thinking, you know, just go to town with the stamping because I have incredible, incredible Halloween stamps. I mean, I love, love Halloween decor. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I will take you along that journey once I, once I start. I just wanted to kind of get in that box, see what I had, and then go from there. Um, I could always use some of the patterned papers and stuff in my decorative box here. Um, but yeah, and I can use all my stickers. I could use, I have so much Halloween washi. I just have so much. Part of me um, wanted to do um, like a daily, like a daily on one page. So right now, in this particular planner, it's two days per page. It's, it's the whole week is on four pages. This has, but it's just a half, half of the page is for each day. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Part of me wants a whole page for each day so I can really, um, decorate. And um, as I'm saying that out loud, um, how would I do it? Because it's seven days, not eight. I would need a full decoration page to just do whatever I want or have lists. And then I would have Monday, right? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then a full deco sheet. So I could do it. And I actually could recreate this insert to accommodate for daily pages. Ooh, now we're getting somewhere. I'm so glad you're coming along um, with me on this. This is just brainstorming on the fly. Um, and you know what? I think that'll be a really good idea. So I'll just go back into my design software. I'll restructure this to where it is. Um, a daily. Now, that means it's going to bulk up. That means what I have in here for October and November will be just for October. So the question is, would I be able to fit, here's three months, would I be able to fit, fit another three months in here? That's how much paper would be added. And to tell you the truth, I think the answer is no. If you kind of look at this. Okay, so that's disappointing. Um, I kind of want it in all, but what about if I just... Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with that plan. Let's go with that plan. Let's do a daily. Um, at least for October. Maybe for October and December. Not necessarily for November. So maybe I just need to... Okay. Just doing the math in my head. But anyway, I think I'll like that for October because then I'll really be able to use my stamps. Um, now, I won't be able to Copic color in here, but I will be able to Copic color if I stamp on sticker paper, color it, and then bring it in here. So that is an option as well. So that's where I'm going. Um, let me know what you think and let me know how you've been doing in the comments below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys really soon. I look forward to planning and creating October. I think it's going to be super fun and I will see you guys soon. Thank you.